in the heart. Hallelujah! There is anointing today in the hearts of the Lord. Hallelujah! Today in the house of the Lord. There is a miracle today in the house of the Lord. There is a miracle. Come on. Make that confession. House of the Lord. There is a miracle today for somebody. Hallelujah. There is joy today in the house of the Lord. There is joy today in the house of the Lord. There is joy today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today in the house Kuna nema leo nyumbani mwa Bwana Kuna nema leo nyumbani mwa Bwana Kuna Nyumbani mwa Bwana Nyumbani mwa Bwana Kuna neema mpya Nyumbani mwa Bwana Kuna neema mpya Nyumbani mwa Bwana Kuna neema mpya nyumbani wa Bwana Haleluya leo nyumbani wa Bwana Kuna nguvu mpya nyumbani wa Bwana Kuna Nyumbani Kuna nguvu Nyumbani Haleluya Haleluya Leo Nyumbani mwa Bwana Haleluya leo Nyumbani mwa Bwana Haleluya leo Nyumbani mwa Bwana Haleluya leo
his power today in the house of the Lord. There is power today in the house of the Lord. There is power today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Somebody open your mouth and make that confession that there is power today. There is power today. Open your mouth and make that declaration. There is power today. Power to turn around your situation. Power to bring joy. Power to cause a breakthrough. Somebody make a prayer. There is power. The Holy Ghost is in the house. Wherever you are joining us from, confess with us. There is power in the house of the Lord. There is power here. There is power here. There is power in the house. There is power to change your life. There is power to deliver your marriage. To deliver your life. There is power. 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 Power. There is power to set the captives free. There is power. There is power in the house of the Lord. There is power. There is power. Come, Bella, Doda, Shata. There is power. Let that power manifest in your life now, now, now. Power, power to heal every sickness and every disease. Power, there is power today. 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 There is power in the house of the Lord. Somebody you're receiving a new song. You will sing a new song. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Witchcraft is broken. Forces of darkness are destroyed. For there is power. 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 Be healed of that sickness. Be healed of that infirmity. Be healed. I say, be healed now. Be free from that oppression. Be free from that oppression. Be energized. Be strengthened.
There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power today. There is power today. Lives are changing. Lives are changing. Lives are changing. Lives are changing. Your life will never be the same again. For being in the house of God. And you that is joining us life. Your life will never be the same again. 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 Settle down in the house. Settle down for the word of God. Today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 12. There is power today in the house of the Lord there is power today in the house of the Lord there is power today in the house of the Lord there is power Today in the house of the Lord is an old song, and I felt the Spirit of God sing it in my spirit. And I said, We are going to sing it. And for sure, the presence of God is in the house. Thank you so much, everyone, joining us live on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube, on the accounts and pages on Facebook. We are also live. We have a new page. T -t I mean, uh, Eagles, sorry, Eagles Dominion House International. Please follow that page. Eagles Dominion House International. We are live on that page already now. Please make sure that you follow us on our page, the church page. And God will bless you. And God will favor you and do you good. We are also live on YouTube. We are live, TT Eagles. We are also live on YouTube. Um, remember to follow, remember to subscribe, remember to share, like, and comment. Spirit of resilience is what the Spirit of God is teaching us today. And we are doing a part two. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Spirit of resilience spirit of resilience take it down a little bit so that we can be able to hear the word of God tell your neighbor you're looking good today you're looking awesome you're looking awesome tell your neighbor you're looking good Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 the Bible says therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance or patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. Verse 2 looking unto Jesus the author and finish of our faith who for the joy that was set before him and toward the cross despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God for consider him verse 3 who endured such hostility from sinners against himself lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls 
Father, we thank you for your word. Bless the reading of thy word. The spirit of resilience. Are you here? Please look at me and focus on me. The writer of this book of Hebrews is telling us we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. And in regard to our teaching today about the spirit of resilience, brethren, I want you to understand and know that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Men and women that had the spirit of resilience in them. And they were able to do the work of God without giving up, without looking back, without saying, I don't want to do this anymore. They were able to finish their races by the grace of God. So we are surrounded, please settle down, we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. A cloud of witnesses. Hello? And we are going to check a few, if not one of them, the cloud of witnesses. We have men and women, for example. In the days of the old, there were sons and daughters that God would use to prophesy, to give warnings, to speak the word of God, to speak the wisdom of God to the nation of Israel. Are we together? To the nation of Israel. Please sit down. To the nation of Israel. So we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. We have men and women that were there before us and they were faithful in God's assignments. They never gave up on God. Please follow me. They never gave up on God's assignments. They were faithful to the end. Were there discouragements in their time? Yes. Were there threats in their time? Yes. Were they beaten in their time? Yes. Were they insulted? Yes. Were they called names? Yes. Were they paraded for shame? Yes. There's no difference. If you give up today, and since we are clouded, eh, there is a cloud of witnesses. We are surrounded. What will you tell Daniel? When we reach heaven, and you're given a chance to have a discussion with Daniel of the Bible, he will tell you, I was put in a lion's den, but I kept the focus. What will you tell men like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that were threatened with death and death of fire, but they still stood strong for God? What will you tell Ruth? Ruth, there was no hope where she was going because she was a Moabite and she's following her mother-in-law and where she is going, she knows very well the law of the land that Israel does not marry outside Israel. What will you tell her? When you easily give up on God's assignments, what will you tell Ruth? What will you tell Ruth? What will you tell Noah? I'm trying to show you that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Before you give up, before you throw in the towel, before you say, I cannot handle this thing anymore. What will you tell Noah? The only preacher of righteousness in his time, the only preacher on earth in his time, that time. Are you here? It's building an ark and telling people there is going to be floods. By the way, it had never rained before. So he had first to explain what is a flood, what is rain. And the man is building a hack by the instruction of God. And nobody believes in him. 
for 120 years he kept the focus my goodness 120 years Aye. some guys we need to shake hands when we reach heaven and ask them how did you make it it's not a joke you have served God for one year. You are complaining. You are making noise. When you are now 10 years, you are all over internet telling us, I have been in this thing for 10 years. <laughs> eh? When you have done now 20, I, it's gold. Eh? It's golden celebration. I, and somebody will be talking with pride in my years of experience with God. What will you tell Noah? What will you tell Moses? That is waiting on God in the wilderness. The guy was raised a prince. But by the time God comes after 40 years, he, does, he, he is a stammerer now. He has been around sheep for 40 years. Oh my goodness. We are surrounded by such a big cloud of witnesses. A great cloud of witnesses. Now, like I said before, that there were sons and daughters that God used to prophesy to give word to Israel. Even when it's not what they wanted to speak, but still, the spirit of resilience in them Push them to speak those prophecies to Israel. Even though they didn't want to speak those prophecies, the spirit of resilience would push them. Some of them would give up and say, I'm not going to prophesy anymore. And then the spirit of resilience would push them to continue doing it. The spirit of resilience is the game changer in doing God's assignments. Who am I talking to? And they did not stop even when they were persecuted. They did not stop. This cloud of witnesses, they did not stop even when they were insulted. They persisted on doing God's work. They persisted. Because God had put the spirit of resilience. Oh, make this prayer. Tell him, Father, put in me the spirit of resilience. These guys never gave up on God's work. Why? The spirit of resilience was in them. They persisted. You can only persist if the spirit of resilience is in you. And you can never do God's work without the spirit of resilience being in you. Persecutions came. But they still held on to God. They still held on to God's assignments. The purpose of the spirit of resilience is that you will still hold on at all times. I at all times. The spirit of resilience is responsible for holding on in and out of season. In and out of season, you will be strong because the spirit of resilience is in you. Who am I talking to? The spirit of resilience. You hold on. Sometimes you don't understand but you hold on. Sometimes they're not making sense, but you hold on. Sometimes it looks like the promise is taking too long, but you hold on. Sometimes you preach, they insult you, but you hold on. Sometimes you minister and they call you names, but you hold on. It is the spirit of resilience. I pray for you today. May the spirit of resilience come upon you in the name of Jesus. May you receive the spirit of resilience. They persisted on. They endured. They were patient. The spirit of resilience is the secret 
This is the secret of ministry. This is the secret of God doing God's assignments. The spirit of resilience kept on pushing them to give every word or every prophecy that the Holy Spirit moved them to speak. The spirit of resilience kept on pushing them. So what keeps on pushing you is the spirit of resilience. It's a, it's a force. Ah. The spirit of resilience is a force in a man, in a woman. It will keep pushing you. You feel like sleeping. It pushes you. Wake up and you begin to pray. Rakabakata. It's a force inside. You can't control it. Allow the spirit of resilience. You want to give up. You can't give up. You know why? The spirit of resilience. Who am I talking to? Some of you doing God's work and assignment has been, you know, it's like pushing pushing a lorry on a hill but listen to me if you can capture this if you can understand this if you can receive the spirit of resilience this is the game changer this is the game changer the spirit of resilience in them would push them to still give the word to still prophesy I want us to look at one guy called Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 7 Jeremiah chapter 20 Verse 7, quickly. Put it up on the screen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a prophecy I'm giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 7. Look at that man. Look at that prophet. He was a young prophet. God called him at a very young age. Very young age. Chapter 20 verse 7. Oh Lord, you induced me. That word induced me means you deceived me. Jeremiah, are you here? Jeremiah is telling God you deceived me. Hey. Or you tricked me. How does your version say? Huh? Oh my goodness. I'm talking to people that are not yet there. Are you there? What does your version say? You deceived. Induced. Deceived. Uh-huh. Someone else? Eh? Deceived. Uh -huh. Deceived. Another one? Deceived. Jeremiah is complaining and telling God, God, you deceived me, oh. And I was persuaded. This Jeremiah, it's come a time in ministry. It was so, so tough for him. It was so hard to continue. But watch this. Watch this. You are stronger than I. He's telling God, God, you are stronger than I. You are stronger than me. <laughs> I am in derision daily. Everyone mocks me. Look at that. That guy, as he was doing ministry to God, he was being mocked. Verse 8, for when I spoke, I cried out, I shouted, violence, plunder. What is telling God? The words you gave me, I gave to your people. I shouted with confidence, thinking that, you, you, you know, one thing you need to understand with Jeremiah is that he made prophecies and he died without those prophecies coming to pass. They came to pass later when the man of God is dead. For example, let me remind you of one. When Daniel, they were in Babylon. You remember? Daniel understands the writings. When he read the writings of Jeremiah. That you shall be in captivity for 70 years. Who gave that prophecy? Jeremiah. It came to pass when? In the days of Daniel. Mm. So the guy is telling God, I am mocked. I am going through a lot. Everyone is talking about me. Everyone is insulting me. How do I do this thing? How will I be able to handle it? Watch this. <laughs> For when I spoke, I cried out. I shouted violence and plunder. Because the word of the Lord was made to me. Lord, 
Because the word of the Lord was made to me a reproach and a derision daily. Look at what Jeremiah is saying. Your word has become what? What this man was going through. <laughs> the word of the Lord has been made a reproach and a derision to me daily. He was going through a reproach because of doing God's work. Who am I talking to? Because of saying yes to God and doing ministry. So he is telling God, this thing you put on my shoulders is brought reproach on me. Okay, look at verse 10. No, verse 9. Then I said, look at that. Look at Jeremiah. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. Jeremiah reaches a place in life and says, I am not going again to prophesy. God, oh, I am not going to speak about you again. This thing you are tell, telling me to do is not working. It's not coming to pass. No prophecy I have spoken is coming to pass. They call me a prophet of doom. It's not coming to pass. <laughs> so Jeremiah decides to quit. Yeah, he says, then I said I will not make mention of him. Not speak anymore in his name. Jeremiah made the decision. I am not going to prophesy in the name of Jehovah again. Me, I am not. I will not. Uh, are you here? Are you here? Are we together? Jeremiah gave up on ministry. He said, I'm not going to prophesy again. I'm not going to preach again. I'm not going to speak the words of God again. I'm not going to speak in the name of God again. Me, no. Me, no. I will not. Some of you have done that. I know. <laughs> eh? But watch this. Watch something. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire. Hey! When he decides not to prophesy again. When he decides not to do God's assignments again. He says, but his word was in my heart like a burning fire. Shut up in my bones. What Jeremiah is saying, when I try to keep quiet, when I say I won't speak, when I say I won't preach, there was fire in my bones. Fire shut up in me and I cannot hold back. That is the spirit of resilience. Are you here? Watch this. I was weary of holding it back. In other words, I, was, I could not hold it back. I could not. I don't want to preach, but I preach. I don't want to pray, but I pray. I don't want to preach this thing. I, I, don't, I don't want to prophesy, but fire is shut up in my bones. I'm weary of holding back. I cannot say I won't preach and speak again. The spirit of resilience is a force. You can't control. You cannot handle it. Allow the spirit of resilience in you. You will find yourself doing God's assignments. You will find yourself waking up and saying, Thus says the Lord. You will find yourself prophesying. You will find yourself singing. You will find yourself doing God's assignments. Jeremiah had reached a dead end and he said, I'm not going to prophesy in your name. God, oh, mark my words. Hey, I'm not doing this thing again. But fire is shut up in his bones. Oh, and they could not hold back. I could not hold back. Verse 10. For I heard many mocking. I heard many mocking. Fear on every side. This is the situation of the man of God. Prophet Jeremiah. There were mockings. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? There were mockings. The guy was being mocked. Give me some sound. The guy was being mocked. Hey. That was too big. I heard many mocking. Fear on every side. Are you here? Fear on every side. The ministry of Jeremiah. You think it's you alone? Oh, look at Jeremiah. Fear. Fear. When they, eh, when they shot at my office, when that bullet came in, it was to bring fear, it was to cause fear. But there's a force in me. Hi. 
There is a force that goes beyond fear. There is a force that goes beyond ridicule. There is a force that goes beyond reproach. There is a force in a man. And that force is the spirit of resilience. And today I declare that you receive the spirit of resilience. You will push. You will not hold back. You will do the assignments of God. You will do God's assignments. I say you will do whether you like it or not. Jeremiah does not want to prophesy. But he finds himself saying, he doesn't want to speak but the mouth there is fire shut up in his bones and he says thus says the Lord thus says the Lord thus he doesn't want to do it but the the spirit of resilience the spirit of resilience even when there were enough reasons for Jeremiah to give up is not giving up don't wait for me to give up don't wait for me to give up the spirit of resilience is in me it's a force I heard men mocking fear on every side report they say they were telling Jeremiah report the give the report of God we will see you look at me I want to talk to somebody Jeremiah is a prophet and you know there are wicked people in this world there are other prophets also that have rejected God that have rebelled and they will be on your neck try and report as you try to report they will struggle you do you get me now do you understand me now they are telling Jeremiah report try hey Try and speak. Try and speak. Right now, even in the era of the church, we have many that have wandered away and they don't want the true voice of God. They don't want the true voice of God. They don't want the true voice of God. They don't want to be judged. They don't want people to know the truth about their standing. And therefore to Jeremiah, Report, they say. And we will report it. Try. Thank you, Jesus. All my acquaintances. Are you seeing that? All my. What does your version say? All my. All my. My goodness. All my acquaintances. I want another version. Another version. My friends. Not my enemies. All my. All my, Jeremiah is not talk, talking about enemies. All my friends, all my acquaintances, guys I pray together with, guys I raised in ministry, all my acquaintances, all my friends watched for my stumbling. The friends of Jeremiah, they are watching him come down. They want him down in ministry. All my acquaintances, all my friends, not my enemies. Can I tell you something? You have friends that are watching you to stumble down. They are eagerly waiting. Some are praying prayers of agreement. They want you to go down. Friends, meaning born again and some are spirit filled oh my goodness who am I talking to Jeremiah says report they say and we will report it all my acquaintances watched for my stumbling saying perhaps he can be induced then we will prevail against him and we will take our revenge on him listen to me Jeremiah at friends that were against him. They will eat with you. But they are working for your downfall. They will come and check on you. And they will try to smile. But in their heart they are killing you. That's ministry. They can even 
buy gifts. But in them, acquaintances, friends, they are waiting for Jeremiah to come down. They are waiting for Jeremiah. They are telling, try and prophesy. Try and speak the report of God. Try and do God's will. We will deal with you. We shall prevail against you. In the midst of all that, something pushes him. <laughs> in the midst of all that, in such an environment that is not conducive, there was something inside. There was something inside. Hey! That's what the Bible says. He that is in is greater. Whoever is in you is greater. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter how they mock you. It doesn't matter the names they give you. What you need is the spirit of resilience. Spirit of resilience. Jeremiah says, I'm done. I'm not going to prophesy again. But fire is shut up in his bones. What's that? The spirit of resilience. It's pushing him. It's pushing him. Don't go to that church. But there's a force pushing you. They are trying to pull you out. But there's a force pushing you. Go. Go. Do my assignment. Do my assignment. The spirit of resilience. Let me talk to somebody who had given up. And you know very well, you have given up on God, not man. May the spirit of resilience come upon you. I say may the spirit of resilience come upon you. May you receive the spirit of resilience. Can you be standing in the presence of God? May you receive the spirit of resilience. Are you ready? Are you ready? For the spirit of resilience, lift up your hands high above your head and tell the Lord the way Jeremiah was able to serve you. I can't continue from there. I will continue on that, um, the other day. Uh, next, next week, sorry. Listen to me because of time. Jeremiah did not give up. Jeremiah, although he had given up, there was a force in him that pushed him to continue to do God's assignment. That force is coming upon you. That force is coming upon you. It's called the spirit of resilience. Are you praying? Can you make a prayer for a minute? Can you receive the spirit of resilience? It's available now. It's available now. It's available now. It's available. The spirit of resilience is available for you. It's available for your church. It's available for your ministry. It's available for your life. The spirit of resilience is available for your assignment. It's available. It is available. The spirit of resilience is available now. It's available. It's av take it. Take it. It's available. Receive it. Receive it now. Oh, I say receive it now. The spirit of resilience is coming upon somebody. Just lift up your hands and receive it. Just lift up your hands and receive it. Just lift up your hands and receive it. Just lift up your hands and receive the spirit of resilience. You did not come by chance. It's not by luck. The spirit of resilience is coming upon you. You will not give up on God. 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 You will be resilient. You will be resilient. Come on. You will be resilient. 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 The spirit of resilience is your portion. The spirit of resilience, it gives you strength to move on. Receive the strength to move on. Receive the strength to move on and to keep working for God and even to be persistent in God's work. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. You will not be distracted. You will not give up on God. 
no matter what comes your way the spirit of resilience is in you from now you will not be moved you will not be moved every son and every daughter needs this spirit of resilience and I declare in your life you have it say I have it say I have it okay lift up your hands towards me or towards the altar I release now every eye closed I release upon you the spirit of resilience take it take it now I release upon you the spirit of resilience what made Jeremiah not to give up is coming upon you now take it now take it now the spirit of resilience wherever you're watching me from the spirit of resilience is your portion now thank you Jesus I give you praise I give you glory put your hands together for Jesus come on for Jesus come on come on this morning this morning as I was praying the Lord spoke to me I said it's a breakthrough Sunday it's a breakthrough Sunday and then, but before I finish I want to release this breakthrough upon your life are you ready it's a breakthrough Sunday are you ready are you ready what is breakthrough we say I need a breakthrough in this matter what is a breakthrough what is breakthrough come on breakthrough look at me breakthrough is mostly described as heaven on earth you didn't hear me it's mostly described as heaven on earth so when the Lord told me son is a breakthrough Sunday I knew that heaven is gonna kiss the earth I know someone's life heaven heaven is going to intervene in your situation heaven on earth heaven on that situation heaven in that marriage heaven are you here heaven oh, who am I talking to heaven in that business heaven in that business oh my so what is breakthrough breakthrough is to overcome something some of you what you needed because something was pushing you and you were about to fall some of you you were going through a situation and it was bringing you down breakthrough means to overcome something and have an achievement are you here you need that breakthrough to overcome something and I declare right now receive breakthrough I say receive breakthrough in that situation in that substance receive breakthrough you are overcoming I say you are overcoming let your ears come like a thunder you are overcoming I say you are overcoming let your ears come like thunder say I am overcoming Say, I am an overcomer. Say, I am an overcomer. In Genesis chapter 38, verse 27 down to 30, story of a woman, story of a woman that had twins in a womb. Hello? And she was giving birth. And the midwife stood there. Her name is Tamar. Tamar was giving birth. And the midwife stood there to help her deliver. And the Bible tells me that one of the boys pushed out his hand. And the midwife said, because they are twins, she took a scarlet thread, a red thread. Are you here? And tied on that hand and said, this one came out first. But I don't know what happened. In a short time, come on. In a twinkling of an eye, the boy retreats, takes back his hand, and the second one came out. And the midwife begins a conversation with the toddler. 
the midwife is like, how did you break through? How did you break through? He, uh, the midwife is talking to a creature that cannot talk back to her. But the midwife is amazed. The one I marked and said is the firstborn. It came out first. You, where are you coming from? How did you break forth? How? Listen to me. That is going to be their question. How did you break forth? How did you make it? Who am I talking to? I feel fire in my bones. There is fire in my bones. They will wonder. They will sit you down and ask you, how did you break forth? The midwife looked at the toddler and said, may this breakthrough be upon you. May this breakthrough, I'm speaking into your life, may this breakthrough be upon you. In the name of Jesus, receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. His name is Perez. He came out. And after Perez came out, the other one who had a scarlet thread came out the second. I'm talking of a situation where they concluded your defeat. Hey! I'm talking of a situation where they concluded of your defeat. Where they concluded the end of your marriage. Where they concluded that your business is going nowhere. Where they said that your career is nothing. The report they give about you is a negative one. Even you, you look at yourself and say, Hi. Hey. Hey. Can I preach really? Can I do business really? Can I prophesy really? But they will sit you down and ask you, how did you break through? Because we had seen that you had lost. We had seen that your marriage was over. How did you break through? The Lord told me, son, tell my children, it's a breakthrough Sunday. I declare in the name of Jesus, if I be a prophet of the Most High God, I declare in your life, receive breakthrough now, 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 breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, Jesus said, but with God, all things are possible. I stand in your situation and I declare but with God <laughs> with men it's impossible but with God hey hey I stand beside that hospital bed and I declare but with God all things are possible but with God all things are possible be healed be healed now rise up and walk in the name of Jesus be healed of that sickness of that infirmity be healed now cancer out of your body HIV out of your body be healed but with God <laughs> Jesus says but with God all things are possible I stand in your life and I declare but with God but with God, all things are possible. Somebody say, all things are possible. It may look impossible with men. It may be impossible with men. But with God. But with God. Somebody say after me, say, but with God. But with God. All things are possible. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. Angel Gabriel turns to the Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary is like, how is this going to happen? I'm not, how am I going to conceive? Am I going to be called the, the mother of the Savior? How? How? And the angel says, with God, nothing 
shall be impossible with God with God I stand on the face of your situation and I declare with God nothing shall be impossible nothing shall be impossible receive your breakthrough for with God hey for with God nothing shall be impossible nothing I say nothing nothing I say nothing do you hear me do you understand my language nothing with God nothing if there's anything that God cannot do it does not exist for with God nothing shall be impossible I leave you with Isaiah 43 verse 19 Bible says I am doing a new thing who is real? oh my goodness that your amen is not convincing that your clapping is too weak I say behold God is doing a new thing I say behold God is doing a new thing behold God is doing a new thing even in this work God is doing a new thing God is doing a new thing in your life a new thing 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 and come on in your children God is doing a new thing in your business God is doing a new thing listen stretch your hands up it is springing forth now take it I say take it it is springing forth now the new thing that God is doing it is springing forth now take it now in the name of Jesus the Lord is making a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert hallelujah receive the breakthrough receive the breakthrough I declare you have entered a new season a season of breakthrough a season of breakthroughs a season of breakthroughs in your prayer life breakthrough in your ministry life breakthrough in whatever you do I declare breakthrough I declare breakthrough in your business breakthrough in your finances breakthrough in your house breakthrough in your marriage breakthrough whatever it is breakthrough if you are trusting God for a job or for a business receive your breakthrough come on I'm talking to somebody that you're trusting God for some good amount now this good amount this good amount of money is not same to everybody someone is trusting God for 5,000 another one is trusting God for 10,000 another one is trusting God for 1 million another one is trusting God for 1 billion who am I talking to I declare receive it that amen is not convincing I say receive it I say receive it receive it receive it receive it let that breakthrough be your portion receive it I say receive it receive your breakthrough this week this week is your week of breakthrough is your week of breakthrough I have declared it is your week of breakthrough this week is your week of breakthrough is your week of breakthrough you are breaking through 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 in the name of Jesus you are breaking through My friends from another country they sing like this. Wenzi chukire, wenzi wenzi za, umbuka vira, wenzi kuzinze. I know you don't get it. Wenzi chukire, wenzi wenzi za, umbuka vira, wenzi kuzinze. 
I declare a breakthrough in your life. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. If you are not born again, if you are not born again, be still, everybody. Be still. If you are not born again, this is your moment to give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are watching me from, any part of this world, why don't you give your life to Jesus? Jesus is everything. He is the answer to those questions that you've been asking. He is the answer. He is everything. Say after me. Say, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. You made that prayer. The old is gone now. You are now saved. You are now born again. Your name in the book is in the book of life. Do yourself a favor. Don't you stay at home. Look for a Bible-believing church around where you are, where they are revealing Christ. Wherever you are, there is a true man of God. Don't say all men of God are bad. In every village, in every city, in every nation, there are true men of God. There is always a remnant that you may not know. Look for a Bible-believing church where you are, where Christ is revealed. If you are in Nairobi and his environs, I, I, I invite you. Please, I invite you to this church. This is the place to be. If you happen to be in Nairobi, this is the place to be. We are Eagles Dominion House International. And we come into life from Nairobi, Kenya. In the heart of Nairobi. In Sunbeam Shopping Complex. Fifth floor. We are opposite Equity Bank or Nat Headquarters. And along Mfangano Street. There's also a number that you can contact me and call me and I'll pray with you. I'll speak into your life. Take that number down on the screen. Call that number. I'll pray with you. I will speak into your life. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Let's stand. To smile.